Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 31st. So, Happy New Year. Uh, yeah, so whoever this resonates with, it resonates with. Whoever it doesn't, it doesn't. This is just an energy that I'm picking up on. We'll see whatever comes up. Yay. Some sort of decision is being made. Whatever this decision is, it's probably a fair one. Fair decision. Somebody may be... deciding to come, come, come forward with the truth. To tell the truth. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, there's a there's a Somebody's got some new vision, you know, they've, they've, they've received some sort of vision, some sort of, uh, exciting, exciting new idea, perhaps. It's like there's a new... A new way I got to do this differently I got to do this differently because something that they they thought they could manifest or they thought they could get or they thought they could do didn't pan out we have the magician reverse the ace of pentacles reverse with the four of cups in the middle somebody was focused in the wrong direction and they realized that they can't get anything stable focused on that wrong direction they realized that they perhaps they lost a good opportunity. This is a, definitely a lost opportunity. Right here, these three cards. There's a lost opportunity here. They realize that and they're going to, and they see the truth. They do. They see the truth of what they lost and now they perhaps, you know, they have received some sort of new vision, you know, a new exciting path, you know, some sort of, even though this isn't the Ace of Swords, I feel like this is some sort of clarity. It's like, ooh, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's what I see. Um, it's all of a sudden there's this new, new ambition to go in a new direction. It's like all of a sudden they see this this ability for growth. It's like, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. I understand why that happened. Huh. And it's a sudden thing, too. It's very sudden. It's a sudden change. That's what it is, too. Suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, 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 somebody sees that they held on to something that was wrong. That's interesting, huh? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Ah. It's better in reverse.
So we have a sudden, a sudden change here. We definitely have a sudden change. Somebody was holding on to something, you know, that they could touch or to um, some sort of something they thought was secure it wasn't, it wasn't, and it really wasn't secure. And they were holding on to it for who knows what reason. But it feels like now they see, now they see that they have to let it go because it's not stable, it's not secure. It looks like somebody is letting go of some sort of past hurts. You know, this is the Three of Swords reverse, is letting go of past hurts. And they're, it's like they see, they're starting to see that there's love. There is love someplace else. They're starting to see that. Because this Ace of Cups is coming up. It's like this person has been concentrated on some sort of hurt. Definitely. And he now this person realizes that there's there is love. There is love. But they were invested in something that wasn't secure. And they may have been doing that to protect themselves. But now it looks like whoever this person is, is going to speak the truth. They may have had some sudden change or something like that. This person has went from, from cold, you know, from being very cold and withdrawn and stubborn and And hard, you know, this guy is very hard to warm, you know, he's like, wh whoever this person is, it's like, they're being given an opportunity to, oh, if I can get it with these fingernails. Relight some sort of fire, you know? And the only way that they can do that is to be honest and truthful. So if somebody is accepting the truth, and it's like they've received some sort of new, new spark. This is a new beginning here. And they want a new beginning. It's like a new, passionate beginning. After being stuck on something for so long, somebody has decided because this is a decision they have decided that i'm ready i'm ready for growth i'm ready for change i'm ready for excitement i'm ready for a new beginning so we have a new beginning here this is a sudden a sudden change too it's it's like i'm not even gonna think about this i'm just gonna i'm heading in a new direction so somebody is letting go of the past hurts and I think they're deciding to come together with somebody because there's two people here, not one. I think whoever this person is has been focused on perhaps holding a grudge. This person was holding something, holding something they didn't need to hold on to, a grudge, holding on to something. Miserable. Miserable. We have a miserable individual here who's like woken up. That's what this is. Whoever this person was, was very, was, hence the word was, realizes that they weren't being very nice. They realize that they were lying. They know that they were lying. Because we do. We have a deceptive, manipulative, cunning individual here. And they know. They know that 
they were wrong. They do know that they were wrong and they know that they have thrown away a really good opportunity. But it feels like now they see. Now they see because their life has been turned upside down. They see that the, the golden opportunity was there all along. And it looks like this person is ready to drop some sort of grudge and let go of the past hurts. Because perhaps now they, they realize that where the, where the opportunity was after they lived some sort of life, somebody was living some sort of lie. But now, because this is a, definitely a lie and the truth is coming out. So somebody's been living some sort of lie all because of their own hurt and their own insecurities, right? So, but now it looks like now they see the love. It's now they see the love. It's like, you know, this Ace of Cups is coming. It's here. It's here. And they see that. They see that it was there, even though they didn't, they didn't recognize it for quite some time. It feels as though, I mean, you see where he's looking. He sees that he missed an opportunity. Somebody sees that they missed an opportunity. And it looks like this person, whoever it is, is ready to let go. Ready to let go and forgive because this is forgiveness. To let go of the past hurts and put in more effort. Work together. So I think that we got somebody here that may come with some sort of exciting communication about how they truly feel in which they held back from this communication for quite some time because of their own insecurities. They were living a lie. They were living a friggin' lie. They were. Now we have, we have this Queen of Pentacles here that is very stable, secure, solid, nurturing, and this person, if you see where he's, he's, this person knows it. He's looking down here. He knows it. This person is solid. Very, very solid. And it looks like perhaps this person may want forgiveness, but, you know, this, it may be too late. It may be too late because this person right here, she doesn't know if she wants to give it away. <laughs> should I keep this or should I should I add to your pile? I mean, you're miserable. This person is miserable and cold. I mean, he's in the ice, the snow, very cold. But it looks like this person has warmed up for some reason. They've warmed up. Interesting. Reluctant to move on. Reluctant to now this person is reluctant to accept this new opportunity. Because this person up here was so deceptive, such a liar, so cunning, so crafty. But perhaps and but this person really doesn't want this person to move on. Wants to hold on to this one. Perhaps offer them a passionate new beginning. This person, if somebody has found the confidence and the courage to take action. He's got that Ace of Wands. We got somebody here that is going to make a passionate offer. This is a very, look at that shit. Okay. Ah, uh, she's some girl. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of new passion here. It's like somebody is going to receive a passionate new offer from somebody. Somebody has gained a lot of strength. It's like almost overnight, too. I mean, I know it's not overnight, but it's like an instant, like, epiphany. You know, it's like, this is very instant. It is. It's instant. It is. Uh, about what they need to do to bring balance back to their lives. Somebody is going to speak about how they truly feel. There's no doubt about it. After resisting for quite some time, this person has resisted. But now they... they they see, they see the uh, attractions. There's a, there's definitely a lot of attraction here. Hmm. 
This person has been afraid to take a risk for quite some time. <laughs> but they can't let go. You're dealing with somebody who you've known before. You have. This is somebody that you have known because they're holding on. Somebody is holding on. This is holding on. This is holding on. And this is holding on too. Did, did we got? I mean, holding on, holding on, holding on to something. They don't want to let something go. Maybe they want forgiveness. They want a passionate new beginning. They want a new beginning. All of a sudden, they see, and they're probably going to find the find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower to communicate how they truly feel. After they've been afraid for quite some time. They've been afraid to take that leap. They've been afraid to take a risk. But they know. They know that this is where, where they want to be. They know where they want to go. You know, They know that they want a fresh new start. It's like all of a sudden this, this fire has been relit within them. And they want to go for it. I see somebody really wants to go for it. And they may just go for it. You know, but, you know I'm going to go for this. There, you know, we have somebody here that has, is going to have to make a choice. Do I want to go back or do I want to move forward? This is what this is. There's a choice between two paths. Again, that Ace of Wands. <laughs> so we have like the Ace of, Ace of Wands here, the Ace of Wands here, the Ace of Wands here. And he's got it in this hand. There's absolutely, positively... An opportunity for a passionate new beginning here. A new start. A fresh new start. Absolutely. Um, a new, a new, all of a sudden, there's this, this new spark, this new flame. Um, maybe this is even a brand new partner. It could be somebody brand new. It really could. And whoever, it could be somebody from the past or it could be somebody, somebody brand new. There's a choice. There's a choice between two either way with this two of wands. Now, I just counted out four aces of wands. One, two, three, four. That'd be the four of wands. So whatever this is, this could lead to a commitment. It could lead to a lot of happiness. It could even lead to marriage. If you haven't met this person, you can meet them tonight. Okay, it is New Year's Eve. You can meet them at a party, whatever. I don't know. Um, four of Wands can signify some sort of celebration. But you could also meet this person online because this is like the world. So this could be an online connection as well. But I do feel whatever this is, there's an opportunity for a new partner here. A brand new partner. Whether this is somebody from your past, it's like a new partnership. A new partnership. A new beginning. Absolutely. And there could be a lot of attraction and a lot of passion. And it could absolutely lead to a, a solid commitment. It could. Um, somebody may need to leave the past hurts behind, though, with this Three of Swords reversed. And realize that there's, another opp there's still an opportunity for love. So, you know, that's definitely a big message here. Leave the past hurts behind. There is an opportunity for love. Somebody is needing to let go of the hurt. And this is still holding on to hurt. So somebody's still been holding on to the hurt. You know, and maybe it's because they were manipulated. They were lied to, you know, and therefore they're reluctant to move in a new direction with someone new. Whatever the case is, there's an opportunity for a passionate new beginning when the truth is spoken, okay? Because this is about the truth. The justice is about the truth. It's about doing the right thing. It's about um, acting with integrity. Now, it's, about, it's also about seeking balance. So whoever this person is, is trying to do whatever they have to do to bring balance back to their lives. I feel like we have a connection here that is coming. You may receive some sort of invitation. It could come out of the blue. You know, it could, could come at night. It could come at any time. You didn't expect it to come. All of a sudden, it's like, hey, you want to go out tonight? You know, something like that. Or who knows what it is. But I feel like there's going to be some, definitely some communication that comes through this. Hey, you know...
you want to go out? That's what I keep hearing. You want to go out? You want to go out? You know, that's what I keep hearing in my head. And But you may feel like you don't, This somebody in this dynamic doesn't have faith. They don't have faith in it. They're afraid to take a risk. They're afraid to let this, let this start, this new beginning start. There is fear here. There definitely is. And you're being called to and perhaps give it a chance. Give it a chance. I mean, what, what, what could it hurt? There's an opportunity for absolutely something to, to grow here. There's an opportunity to, to work together. There's an opportunity to um, get something really, really good. But you're going to have to let go of your fears. You're going to have to let yourself... take a risk and I think that we have somebody here that is afraid to take a risk there is somebody here that is afraid to take a risk and it's because of the past hurts okay but anyway yeah afraid afraid to sacrifice I'm afraid to get myself involved in anything that's false at this point Somebody is afraid of involving themselves in any kind of, you know, unstable situation. I mean, seriously, the tower reverse. I don't want to get myself involved in something that's unstable. So you got to let go of your fears. I mean, and, and then uh, let's get another card here. We have an opportunity for a passionate to beginning, but there's fears in the way. There's fear of sacrifice, fear of breakdown, fear of getting hurt, you know. There's that four of wands I was talking about. Um, somebody is afraid. They're afraid of not making progress. There's a lack of confidence. I, I really feel like this may be somebody that you already know. It may be somebody that you already know. It could be somebody you met online and it didn't work out in the past and they want another chance. That's probably what it is. It could be um, it could be somebody that you dated even in the past. It could be an ex. It could be an ex, you know, that wants another chance. It, or it could be somebody brand new who you met online and they want a chance, but you there's something about them you don't like. Just something. There's just something you don't like about them. And, you know, they want to give it another shot. Perhaps this person is the one that could lead to marriage. Maybe you need to give it a shot. Maybe you, maybe you, uh, pushed them away because you weren't, you weren't healed from the last one. You know, whatever the case is. I feel as though there's an opportunity to come together with someone who may you know, send you some sort of message. You want to go out to dinner. You want to go out, whatever, to the bar or whatever you want, whatever it is. And you're like, eh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And maybe if you do it and you end up falling in love, whatever the case is, you end up, you know, coming together very, very well. Um, but there's definitely a... A fear of sacrifice, a fear of getting hurt here, big time, big time, a fear of, there's like no confidence, it's like you don't have confidence in this person, but this person does, the other person does, and the other person is making a really passionate offer, and it's, a, it's an honest, it's an honest, truthful gesture, whoever this person that is coming forward is not doesn't have any tricks up their sleeve, even though you may feel like they do. You may feel like maybe they're just looking for sex, but it doesn't I don't think they are. I mean, there is definitely sex involved here. You know, yeah, it could definitely lead to sex. There's no doubt about it. There's absolutely no doubt about it. But I think that, you know, this person is also looking for something stable and secure, and they're looking for something long-term. They are. We got Aries. Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, 
Aries a couple times. Anyway, we have somebody that is um, wanting to have, maybe even it's just one night. It could be a passionate night. It could be, you know, they want to they take you out, whatever, and it could only be one night. But hey, you do whatever you want. But, um, yeah, I think you're going to receive some sort of message about going out going out on some sort of date or whatever, going out to some sort of party. It could lead to some passionate sex and could end up leading to some sort of commitment. So I'm not sure who this is for. This is kind of instant. I think it's an instant epiphany somebody receives. I want I want to take that person out. I want to do this. I want to do that. And it leads to uh, a whole lot more. <laughs> so that's what it looks like to me. That's what I have for today. If you are coupled... I don't know how this would resonate with you, but there's an opportunity. Well, if you are a couple, there's an, there's an opportunity to relight the fire, to relight that fire between your, in your relationship, you know, to pick it back up. But we have somebody here that is definitely afraid. They're, they, they, they lack confidence. They lack uh, faith that this will work out, but that's, that's a fear. That is a fear. Um, Somebody wants to have a passionate night, and that's that's what I see. And I think that there's going to be an exciting new offer that comes through, but I don't know if it will be accepted or rejected. Um, somebody's not happy that they've lost an opportunity, and they may want it back. They may want to give it another shot. I think that's what I think this is. I think somebody is trying to put in effort to make something work. And that's what I see. Good luck.